Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn. Hello Capricorns, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the Cross Watcher of the Capricorn. And this is your love and emotions reading. So if you want to purchase the extended, the rent the extended, um, I'm going to be using the Sexual Tarot Magic deck cards with it, okay? And it would be on my website, saltwaterhealstarot.com, in the Zodiac Intimate Extended Readings. Or click on that upside down triangle below. It'll open up my description box. The link is there as well. Also, there's a link to my Patreon. And if you love erotic tarot readings, honey, I do them there as well. And it's a whole nother beast there, right? It's all different videos there, not like the ones you rent on my website. So, past life relationship. You have known each other before. It is the stranger that you recognize. There is this pull. It is magnetic. There is this connection. There is this vibe. It always feels like unfinished business or something. There's an energy of unfinished business. And there's also a sense of he won't let you go. Six of Pentacles. Clearing something out. Six of Pentacles is, is, is balance or reciprocity, but I'm telling you, it feels like something is being cleared out. You know, like how the scale gets balanced out, clearing it out. And then the Fool came out, which is the Omega. Look at that with the O. I'm sorry, it's Alpha. Alpha. It's really Alpha Omega because the fool is that fir that first step before number one. It's zero. So it's that moment before something starts. So the fool is a fresh, clean slate. It's nothingness, basically. So clearing it out, balancing it out, right? It's zero. Something has been cleared out. The fool is also taking a leap of faith, right? It's jumping into the unknown. The fool energy here also feels like I want to... I'm ready to move on. Someone here may have been ready to move on from a situation, a job, a person. Queen of Swords. Poker faced. This is Air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Someone here tried to pretend they didn't care. Oh, it's still Capricorn energy. Someone here pretended they didn't care as much because they were afraid of getting hurt is what it is. So they pretended they didn't care as much. Nine of Pentacles. This is an extremely Capricorn energy. Someone who is super, super financially abundant on their own. This is a single energy. This is a person here who could be self-made. Someone here who is a very hard worker, very dedicated. Someone here who likes to have the nice things around them. You know, sort of like, um, I don't know, just like uh, they like the finer things in life. Yeah? Capricorn's a sign of the elite too. So they like nice things. They just do. And they work really hard for their shit. Eight of Cups here. Someone needs to walk away. They have walked away. Some of you guys have walked away from a situation recently that could have been within the past few months. You had to walk away from something because they weren't giving you what you deserved. You know, it was something that was causing pain. Someone here had to release something that they didn't want to let go of. The King of Pentacles. I mean, excuse me, King of Wands, as I call Kang Dangalang. Um, Aries Leo Sag, very aggressive, very alpha, very leadership, initiative. They take initiative, right? They 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 make moves. Um well, I don't know what's funny is some of you guys were dealing with someone who's very alpha, but they weren't alpha and, and aggressive in love. They were very, very standoffish. They could have been very confusing as far as what they thought they wanted. But there's a sense here of someone wasn't quite sure or someone wasn't very aggressive in love. Knight of Wands. I feel like it was it's something here could have happened really quickly. And then it stops. The star, Aquarius. The star is also about healing. It's true north too. It's a card of hope. Ten of fucking cups. Happily ever after energy here. Um, someone here wants to have that kind of a life. They want the happily ever after. They want to be able to be monogamous and get married and settle down. And, and for some of you, it's like being given this fresh, clean slate, right? For some of you. Um, 
And it's also taking a leap of faith with a person. Maybe someone wanted you to take a leap of faith with them and you was like, hell nah, the runner. Yeah, the runner. Someone here is running away from intimacy and connection out of fear. You or them, okay? Someone is a runner. They fear rejection and connection. And because of that, it makes them pull away from emotions and connection and not enough. Someone here feels that they weren't getting enough of what they deserved in the past. And that could be why they left or ran. Some people might feel they're not enough and it's a self-esteem thing, which is why they don't connect to people. Then you have kisses. It literally says falling in love on the bottom. The, the kisses card says unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Wow. <sighs> Coffee cup, bottom of the deck, meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted in friendship see that's what someone's running from is connection they're running from talking stories and they're running from hey getting to know you and like spending time it's like they're creating a wall and distance because that's the way they protect themselves huh? and then you have date meeting someone new dating getting back out there planning or setting a date someone here might be like hey i you want to go out and they're like, no. And they're like, oh, you don't want to go out? Like, no. Courtship. They want to court you. They want to wine you and dine you and 69 you. This card here indicates that someone here wants to try to sweep you off your feet. Someone here wants a chance. They want to try to date you. Holy fuck. Great fortune. I don't know if you guys have been watching me regularly, but I keep feeling someone here hits it really big life-changing kind of an energy y'all look at that as i say it the change card flies right out this could be a card of moving this could be a card of changing you know career but again change life changing that's what i feel the journey yeah definitely moving on someone here has to is it someone has to leave something behind right? Is it the whole took the midnight train going anywhere? I don't know. Going to be different for all of you. For some of you, it could also indicate that a masculine energy is on its way to you. The clock, perfect timing. It also says here the past. Remember you have past life relationship, the past. You and this person have a lot of history and let's just keep it at that. The stars, Stars is wishes, peace, falling in love yet again. This is undeniably love. The mountain is obstacles and, and, and being cold. The mountain is about maybe pride, right? So that's the, the whole thing about my, I'm gonna, I'm afraid to get my feelings hurt. I'm afraid to show my, be vulnerable. And then the new moon. New moon is the maiden, it's new beginnings. It's excitement, it's, it's, it's erotic aura, enchantment, the dolphins. This could be a friendship thing for some of you guys because the dolphins is friendship. It's that like fun, exciting, hee -hee, really great communication. You know, nothing's really there. And then could it happen that there becomes this block and coldness and someone runs because they start feeling more. See, that's a thing it could be as well. Once someone starts feeling, they're like fucking out of there after that. It's like, oh no, I, I'm feeling something and that can't happen, I'm out. Wow, forgiveness. Forgiveness is the key to everything, right? Because forgiveness holds you back, it holds you down. It's not about forgiving people because they are sorry. It's not about forgiving people because what they did was a, a correct action. What they did was okay. It means that you're forgiving someone because you're saying you no longer have power here anymore. You're releasing that, you know? Some of you, part of your journey here, big journey, is about forgiving. Could it be this very person that we're channeling that you need to forgive? It's possible. But it also could be something even deeper. You also have big happy changes. And again, we talk about changes, life, life changing events, big happy changes. So some of you might be seeing fives everywhere because fives indicate change. 
But there is big change coming up here. Beautiful fucking energy. All right, you guys, we're going to head to your extended. Again, you can click on that upside down triangle below. It takes you to my description box. The link to this um, extended reading is there. The link to my Patreon account is also there where you can follow me because I do the erotic tarot readings. Um, on my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com, you may also pre-order my remixed I Am Love bracelet with the gorgeous Celtic Knot Heart there. It's half amethyst, half rose quartz, as well as my daughter's second bracelet that she came out with, which is um, her Cherry Blossom Secuda Flower Agate bracelet, okay? So that one there is, both of these actually are pre-orders, okay, to be received in, in about a month or so. But um Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And also, don't get duped by all those fake accounts pretending to be me on both of those platforms. I do not have backup accounts on either. I have one account each. Okay, so don't get um, don't get duped by the fake accounts, okay? All right, I will see you guys in your extended. Love you.